now i'm gonna solve this problem from b crowd 1002 name the name of the problem is area of a circle time limit one fine let me read the question first the formula to calculate the area of a circumference is defined as a equal n into r square considering to this problem that n equals 3.14159 cool we know the area of a circle yeah we know typically the area of a circle is area equal pi r square this is the pi and we are specifying this value the value of pi till 1 2 3 4 5 till the fifth decimal point 3.14159 but normally when you do normal math in our universities or school and or colleges we normally use 3.16 or 3.15 or you can say 3.1416 like this but as they are already telling us to specify the value of the pi like this so we are going to use that as simple as that fine so what we need to do we need to simply calculate the area using the formula given in the problem description that means this formula all right but about the input about the input section they have told us that the input contains a value of floating point double precision double precision means that let me write it down here we need to specify that after the radix point or you can say the uh, period we have to provide two values let's say if we want to print five we can print it like this if we want to print five uh in floating point value we can write 5.00000 or 5.0 like this but they have already specified us that it should have double precision that means the input can be like this or can be like this but it can't go further than the double digits that means it can't be like this that means it can't cross more than two digits after the decimal point in the input not in the output all right that is the variable r fine we have to take the input and we need to store that in a variable named r but don't worry about this variable name because this website only uh, supports this convention this, uh, i mean this website supports this type of variable names as a simple convention this necessarily doesn't mean that you also have to use the same variable name or something like that you don't I necessarily need to do that if you want to use any other variable name you are good to go it won't find any problem there at all but at the beginning stage if you follow this website and follow the naming convention what this website suggests then it might help you to understand where you did wrong and it might also help you to understand how to debug your code later we might talk about that later so let me read the output section first we have to present the message a equal keep in mind that here we are not including any white space after printing a we are also printing an equal sign but we are not including any space before the equal sign or after the equal sign here as well all right so they're telling me that the, uh, we have to present the message a equal followed by the value of the variable all right we have to provide the value after this as in the example below fine with four places separated decimal point here we need to ensure that we have to provide four digits after the radix point or the period all right in the input we have to use double precision but in the output we have to provide four digits but we we don't necessarily need to worry about the input section we can simply worry about the output section because uh, the user can give anything he or she wants within the floating point uh, values or you can say the range all right so we have to use all double precision variables like all the problems don't forget to print the end of line cool they are already telling us to provide the end line which is you can say system.out.println like earlier otherwise you will receive presentation error fine so let me solve this problem uh, real fast all right so what i need to do as i need to take value from the user so i need to work on the scanner class so i can simply uh, import the scanner class so i'm gonna simply use a scanner and let me provide the object name as the scanner starting with the small s be careful that it's uh, that this object is not the same as the class it is the class name and it is the scanner the object name of this class all right so 
system scanner equal to new scanner and system dot input and we need to take the value from the user and store that into a variable let's say r like the website suggests us so let me take that from the user integer r equal to scanner dot next sorry next int because sorry it would be a floating point file so i should use float, float. but if you want you can also use the double value all right scanner dot next float cool like this so i have got the value of the radius from the user and i have also stored that value into this r variable and now i need to count the area so i can do this in many ways let's say i can use a variable let's say a, a equals 3.14159 into r into r we can also do that but if we want to place this uh, place this value into that variable first we can also do that so let me do that first let's say float pi i am providing this variable name as pi but if you want you can use any other variable name you want of course by maintaining the naming convention of g java program like this so float pi equal to this value this value 3.14159 so i have specified that real quick i have to provide a capital a for small f to indicate that it's a floating point value in java so then i need to provide this uh, this formula here so let me use another variable let's say a a equal to pi into r sorry pi into r into r that specify pi into r square like this we are not using any power type variable uh, or power type method or something like that we are simply uh, including r into r because we know that a into a is equivalent to a square so i am simply using that convention like this r into r is equal to r square you should understand it by now all right so now i have uh, calculated the value of the area so now it's trying to provide the value so as the uh, sample suggests we have to provide a an equal sign but we can't use any space before or after the equal sign so let me provide it real quick a plus then the value all right now if i simply run this code and provide this value 100.64 all right it's providing me value two digits just after the radix point or you can say the period but i need to print four value after the radix point so how can i do that i have to tweak this code a little bit as we can see that we have already solved this problem but there are a simple error or you can say there are a simple mistake we have already did in our code and that is we have uh, i mean we did wrong in printing the value because whenever we are printing this value we are getting two digits after the decimal point but we have to ensure that we are printing four digits after the decimal point like here all right so how can we do that this is pretty simple actually we can simply use system dot out dot print if sorry system dot out dot print if and here i will provide a string format let me remove those from here and i'm gonna simply use this double quote and i'm gonna use this format percent point four and then i would use dash n or you can say the sorry not dash slash n so that it prints a new line after printing this whole line all right and so then i need to specify the variable name which is a in our case now let me simply run this code again and let me check whether it solves our previous problem or not after running this let me provide um, this example here all right sorry 100.64 100.64 
we are getting an error so how can we solve this problem we have to specify the floating point precision like this modulo operator 0.4 f because yeah we can use this small f here as well to indicate that it's a floating point value so a equal mod we can say percent here to understand because sometimes you understand the percent symbol better than the module operator all right so a equal mod 0.4 or you can say the percentage of uh, percentage symbol 0.4 small f slash in it's for printing the new line after printing this line because they have already told us that we have to print the end line after the result so we did that here all right and if indicates there that it's a floating point value so let me simply run this code and check whether it works or not 100.64 let's see 100.64 it's giving us five well you know what let me think in a more simple way let me do it like this let me open this question first I'm not gonna use this much variable right now I'm gonna use this simplified way how can I do that let me simply remove this and I would calculate and print the value within a very uh, within a single line how can I do that I don't need to use any other variable other than R so I can simply use this I can simply specify the whole formula here which is pi into r into r pi r square like this all right i don't have the value of pi written in here so i can simply copy and paste this full value here like this 3.14159 into r into r and let me check it again if i simply run this code and provide this value 100.64 100.64 21819.3103 well it works perfectly right let me check again for the other inputs as well 150.00706857750 cool it works perfectly and let me check it for the last time and that is 2.00125664 cool now it works perfectly and now let me simply copy and paste it here and submit this code to see whether they accept it now or not i think they would accept it let us check first cool they have accepted it now don't worry about the source code i'm gonna provide that here as well